there's some tips that you give like the student athletes when it comes to like it's a life outside of sports. What are a few tips you can give on the podcast that you've given to some of these students? What's up, student athlete world? It's your boy Lester Sanders here from Canton, Ohio, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And this is I Am Student Athlete. Whether you're a student athlete or not, I got what I call the big six. Um, Number one, you got to develop a vision for your life. Where do you want your life to go? And you got to spend some time in trying to figure out what do I see myself doing for 30 plus years? Because the average American works for 30 to 35 years before they retire. So what do I see myself doing? So I got to begin a career exploration process because at the end of the day, bills don't pay themselves. (laughs) Food, clothing and shelter don't pay for themselves. You know, chips and drink ain't 75 cent no more. Yeah. No, you, I mean, what, what they like a $2 now. (laughs) And so you got to start thinking, what do I see myself doing for a long time that would, that would make me happy or or I want not just happy, but bring fulfillment in my life. So I got to have a vision. Vision is simply saying, where do I see myself in my twenties, thirties, forties, and fifties, not just in the area of making money, But do you see yourself traveling the country? Do you see yourself traveling the world? What do you see yourself doing outside of work? Do you do you have a fat? Do you see a family? Just all the type of things. What type of lifestyle do you want? Because I don't think there's nothing wrong with trying to have a a, a middle class or 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 even rich lifestyle. But the question becomes, what vehicle are you using to get there? With with the not the country. No, go ahead. With the climate, though, like with that vision, like dealing with these now, nowadays these kids want to go viral. Mm-hmm. Like, is that a frustrating thing to do with that? Like, Man, the analogy I try to give them the same way I talk about is 8 million student a- athletes, like high school, and there's only so much that, it's a, that way smaller percentage that go to the next level. In the same way with trying to go viral, you can go viral for a, a, a second, like the latest one was about the chicken salad lady. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to that part of the yeah. <laughs> but it's <laughs> but it's like you can go viral, but the question becomes you can go viral, but does viral gonna support gonna take care of food, clothing, and shelter? You good, man. Cause not all viral gets taken care of. You talking to a hip hop artist, trust me. Everything that's viral ain't hot. Yeah. It's not all good. Yeah. It's not all good viral. And and for me, we know that, you know, there's it's stuff that go viral, but then some stuff that has substance and meaning may never go viral, but it's just one of those things of, and I ain't, I ain't knocking the cat videos that go viral, (laughs) but it's just, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, 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 Yeah. Yeah, but it's just like, you know, you can't get caught up in thinking that I'm going to make it big because you got to be realistic and go after some worthwhile and obtainable goals. And maybe your big might be 300,000 a year versus 80 million. But 300,000 where I come from, on, from government assistance That's is that. huge. Yeah. And so it's like, you got, and then you got to be realistic about what industry you are in. Those that make ridiculous amounts of money is in ath- athletics, entertainment, um, you know, we know we could look at how some of the greats in hip hop earn they 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 fortune, and it, you just got to look at you just got to know what industry you in and be realistic about it. That's the one thing, even though it's two different avenues, and you're doing music and you teaching athletes, that's the the common thing is being realistic. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think it's really important to be realistic in music, um, and in sports. You know, what I'm sure. Like we said. Not everybody on this McKinley team is going to get a first round, first yeah. pick, and that's like how it is in hip hop. Not everybody going to get a sell a million records because in the music industry, people ain't buying music like that. Yeah, it's, so it, it's like that. That didn't change. It, that, that whole method didn't change up. And then you know, going back to my big six, you got to make healthy and responsible life choices. I like that. You know, we all make mistakes, but you got to make sure that your positive choices or your healthy choices for your life. It's going to lead because if I make negative choices all the time, it's going to lead me to negative. 
But if I make positive choices, it's going to increase the likelihood that I can have success. So you got to have a vision for your life. You got to make healthy and responsible life choices. And then you got to be resilient. Life going to throw some punches in your nose. It's going to throw some gut gut shots. Mm -hmm. It's going to knock you down. But the question is, will you bounce back? So life choices. I got to make healthy and responsible life choices. I got to be resilient. Then you got to find your source of motivation. What motivates you to get out the bed every single day? For me, it was easy. I like to eat. I need food, clothing, and shelter. Let's just start with the basics. A lot of times people, they want to be motivated by a Bentley. Man, we human beings, you need food, clothing, and shelter. And I don't want to depend on nobody else to take care of that. Can't, can't drive no Bentley on an empty stomach. Yeah. And then, <laughs> you know, growing up in a single parent home, like I said, I was blessed to have the support of my family, even though my You know, my mom and dad wasn't together. I still had my family, but I just didn't like being, he was so far away with, in the army, but I just didn't like, I gotta call my uncles. I gotta call my grandfather. I gotta talk to him distant. I said, man, I want my kids living with me when I get older. So I use my future kids. I got a 14 year old and a seven year old son. Like there was my motivation to keep moving forward because I knew as a dude, sooner or later, you're probably going to have a kid. (laughs) 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 And, you know, I just, you know, I just, I was, I just started thinking of some practical stuff. Right. I'm like, man, I got to at least be able to have at least a one bedroom apartment, a piece of car to get around if I need to. And I need a, I need a job. And so it was just like, you got to find the things that will motivate you, but then also, Helping people was the thing that that motivated me. Help another go past the obstacles and hurdles that you that you was able or blessed to be able to overcome. So vision, life choices, be resilient. I gotta find my motivation, and then you gotta be persistent. I did that, Lester. You can That's say point, you man. you can say what you wanna be, but as soon as you say what you wanna be, there's gonna be obstacles and hurdles that come along to prove if you're really gonna be what you said you're going to be. And like, yeah. Yeah. And then the last one is, man, you need some financial foundations, man. You got to understand how capitalism works. You got to understand gross net income. You got to understand, uh, understanding like once you, once you get your net check, what do you do with it? You got to get your emotions in check because you can have the emotions and you will spend your money, but then you broke. <laughs> And so you got to have some basic financial foundations on earning, spending, budget, saving, and investing. And so those are the things I think everybody needs, whether you're a student, athlete, or not. Um, those six things, and it's a whole lot more. I, I, gotta, I teach, uh, I got 31 what I call super skills. Those big six is super skills that I think that's, that's non-academic that we don't teach enough. Because if I got a vision I, and I have an understanding of how the world works, I'll find out that, oh, football, basketball, any other sport from football to badminton, it's a business. It's a business. And so if that's not my business anymore, if I focused on my business, then I can find the next route that I'll be able to take and go pro in something other than sports.